Well, good morning, everybody. Yep. I was supposed to vlog yesterday, but I didn't end up vlogging. I don't really know why I didn't vlog. Some days I, I, I vlog, and some other days I didn't vlog. Well, see, I did. Again, here's the problem. I did vlog yesterday, but I vlogged early in the morning. So Saturday I did vlog, but it was, you know, very early in the morning. And But the time the evening came around, I was kind of in this mood, this uh, semi-sleep deprived mood. It was, it was, it, uh, this is like a mini crash type of thing. Where uh, I was indecisive about things in terms of what I wanted to do. I was also very slow moving and sluggish. And uh, the thing I wanted to do most was sleep. <laughs> so uh, eventually I gave in. I did go to bed around... Uh, around, what was it, I think uh, 5, 6 I went to bed, maybe later, and then, what did I do, I kept getting up and down, I couldn't sleep properly, there was a bit of, uh, I'm not saying insomnia, but uh, uh, what I call it is, it's, it's an altered state, I know when I'm going into these crashes, when my mind goes into an altered state. It's not exactly delirium, but it's uh, something that's akin to delirium, but not necessarily as bad as that. Uh, anyways, I'm going to give you a time and date stamp. That's what we have to do at the beginning of the vlog. Okay, it's 2 hours and 57 minutes into the date of Sunday, March 2nd, 2014. Yeah, <laughs> it's March already. Uh, what did I get done yesterday? The... Uh, I got a fair amount of uh, office work done, the administration work. There's a lot of administrative work that has to be done. These are odds and ends stuff. They're not anything specific. Uh, but I did get that done because they do sometimes get in the way, and particularly if they pile up too much. And it does take a bit of, it does take a bit of time to get them done. So uh, it's, like, it's like where are files going to go, files that were supposed to be put away someplace but were never put away. They sort of stacked up, and you have to go and, deal with that, you know, once it's, but you can't leave files all over the place, you, even on the computer, uh, you have to organize things, and sometimes you are organizing, but you're just not organizing to the point where you're finishing everything, so there's a stack, you know, explanation, when you're organizing, if there's too much to organize, you prioritize what you need to organize. So you put away your priorities first, you organize your priorities, and you need to have this sort of sub-priorities, things that aren't as important to file, but they are important, and so you put them aside. As that pile stacks up, <laughs> it then becomes a, a a task to sort of file that away. And so, so every, every once in a while, that's what happens, is that you have to go deal with the stuff that's below your, your priority that has to be filed, but hasn't been filed, it's sort of been sitting in an ad hoc drawer, like an inbox, uh, whether it's on your desk or your desktop or, uh, you know, anywhere, and then you have to deal with that and sort of organize that. It takes about uh, a couple of, it takes a couple hours to do that, so it does take a chunk of your day, so you do have to sort of schedule this in every so often, and it's basically as you start ending one particular set of product, like, like the product that I'm kind of ending now is uh, the sub-project that gets us to the electronics bench, uh, the computer is now configured, it's, so the bench is now operational, and there are going to be projects moving onto the bench. As projects move onto the bench, uh, I will have to organize and then reorganize the bench again to get it to its, uh, get it operating to its maximum efficiency. So, uh, 
these are things that have to be done. This is sort of what's going on with the kitchen diet. You kitchen diet, you set it up one way, you find it works okay this way, then you try to set up another way to see how well that works out, and then, in other words, you try, you, you, you configure, you reconfigure, and reconfigure again, and it's, it's the same process over and over again. It's a matter of trying to figure out, trying to figure out what works best, and sometimes, you know, things go right, and sometimes things go wrong, and it uh, ends up uh, taking a bit of, uh, you know, a fair bit of chunk of time from away from what you would normally be doing. Uh, what am I going to say about this next? Uh, so that leaves today. Uh, I was supposed to go to church today, but if I'm not awake at the time the person's going to come pick me up, usually they pick me up at night on Saturday night, and if I'm not awake, then that leaves me without a ride to church. So. I'm going to sit down and figure that out. That's a new problem that's coming up. And, but uh, there's work that can be filled in for today, so that's what's going to happen. There's a lot of work that uh, would not normally get done is getting done, so I have sort of an extra time now to get work done that uh, uh, normally would get done. So <laughs> that's the way I'm going to deal with it. Uh, I'm going to try to put up, try to do some new stuff that I wasn't necessarily planning to do today, but a bit down the road. And, uh, uh, we'll kind of have to see how the day goes. That will let me know, uh, what will be on the schedule for money. I mean, I try to make a schedule on a daily basis, and you see that, but it's more often than not the schedule doesn't work out. Something else pops in and adjusts it so that, uh, I rarely get the entire schedule done, uh, <laughs> because this, that's it. Uh, you plan one thing, and then something else comes in. You know, you, something that you didn't plan. And this is the problem. You can plan. You can try to plan as much as you want, but uh, the day is never going to go as expected. It never does that. Uh, so, but you try anyway. You try to do a general outline of what the day is going to be. You know, your, your general idea of what you want to do, and then uh, deal with things like that. You know, prior to prioritize what you need to get done, what you don't need to get done. Uh, anyways, uh, it's time for me to go. So I'll say goodbye. I'll see you in the next segment. All right, take it easy. Bye-bye. Well, good morning. Yeah. And it's just about 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'll give you the exact time and date stamp. We'll start off with that. Okay, it's three hours and ten minutes into the day of Monday, March 3rd, 2014. Well, the problem that's been going on is that I haven't been able to vlog at the end of the day. Uh, I'm just too tired. Uh, Twelve-hour days sometimes really uh, gets you uh, in a state where it's difficult to put your words together. It's difficult to think properly in terms of uh, communications like this. Uh, but nonetheless, so uh, we'll do a review of the what happened in the past twelve hours, and we'll move forward from there. That's you know, uh, I'm kind of lost as to what number of uh, 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 what segment it is. I think this is either the second or the third segment. Uh, but I will have to sort of figure that out by the end of today, but uh, I don't have to have things ready until tomorrow anyway, so. Uh, <laughs> uh, what did I do yesterday? Yesterday, uh, I was able to get uh, close to two hours worth of music practice done. I was in the music studio, and I did uh, two hours of uh, singing in harmony. Uh, <coughs> it wasn't bad. It wasn't good. <laughs> you know, there's still, the, it, it, it's the beginning, but, uh, I wanted to see what I could do, and I was able to do all right. It wasn't that bad. So now, I have to try again today to see what, how much I can do today. Let's see how much I can do on a daily basis. I mean, that's the one thing I had a hard time doing when I was, uh, doing music, uh, way back when. Uh, is I had a hard time practicing. And... Keeping up with this, keeping up with it as well. So uh, things are going well now, but it was the one. The it was the first day. So <laughs> the first day is the first day. 
Uh, the electronics bench, uh, the computer's all configured on there. Everything's working. Now it's a matter of uh, bringing the first work pieces onto the workbench. And uh, I think I'll be getting to that sometime either today or tomorrow. I should be doing it today. It's on schedule for today. But we'll see what happens. Again, you know, uh, there are... Uh, uh, it, well, it, 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 there's a variety of things that have to happen, and I don't know exactly where they're going to happen. I might be doing extending a product that's from the work, from the work, electronics workbench, but it's not going to be on the on the bench itself. It's going to be near the bench, or or it's it'd be it's going to be associated with the bench with the electronics bench. Uh, one of the my web service has gone down. I've got to repair it, uh, and I'll be moving everything from its old. This is a these were old servers. These were uh, uh, Windows 2000, Windows 2K servers so now i'll be moving up to linux and then once once they're on linux there's a whole configuration uh process that has to go on uh that will probably take me about two to three days so things won't be back to normal for me in terms of my regular schedule until uh about wednesday wednesday things will get back to normal in terms of uh but the thing is, you know, when thing, something happens like this and the systems go down, this gives you an opportunity to do new things, to try new things out, and to sort of uh, figure out where you want to go from there. And I forgot to set my timer, so. Anyways, you know, uh, when you forget to set your timer, you have to go by the clock. So we started at 310, it's 314 now. Uh, we got another four minutes to go, left to go. <laughs> so that's 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 kind of where things are. Uh what are they gonna say now? Uh, so I got the work done on the electronics bench that once the electronics bench is done, the other thing that has to happen is there's now a uh, backlog on the editing bay. The editing bay is kinda clogged up. Uh so that has to be cleared and then once the editing bay is cleared then uh Everything else can kind of proceed from there on out. So the whole the goal is is that to clear the edit, clear the clear the backlog on the editing bay, uh, get the electronics bench working and functioning uh, beyond the configuration. Uh, practice my music today. Uh, I've got inst oh if you've been watching my Instagram and my Twitter, uh, you'll see that the Instagram and Twitter is now work the Instagram is not working again. I'm now put, put, putting up pictures. I have a whole backlog of pictures to put up. But the problem was that when, as I was reconfiguring my uh, uh, Cyborg Alpha Mu, that's the mobile uh, Cyborg Alpha Mu, the original S Cyborg Alpha Mu, the single uh, pad that I had, uh, had to be reconfigured. And that's where my Instagram was on. And, but the thing is, is that Instagram was not compatible with my, with my two new uh, 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 Cyborg Alpha Mu's. The, these are the main ones I use. They're not, it's not compatible with it. There's a compatibility issue. Uh, so I had to... Uh, Wait till I had properly reconfigured the last, uh, uh, the the last of the Cyborg Alpha view, the uh, the Gamma, if you will. Uh, wait till that's configured until the Instagram comes back in. So now it's configured, it's it's working again properly. So uh, Instagram is now going to go back up again, and I'm going to try to sort of uh, uh, deal with the backlog, deal with the, the sort of the delay that's been in there. Uh, for all this time, so that, that's going to happen. You'll, you'll see, you'll start to see work from the kitchen diner, the, the different uh, meals that come out of it. You'll see that there. So <laughs> look for that. Anyways, uh, our time is uh, just about up. So I think I'll cut that short here. Oh, actually, we've got about two minutes left, or thereabouts. Uh, so yeah. Look for the kitchen diner, uh, the menu items to come out on Instagram. That's where we'll be posting the pictures to that. I'll also be posting other pictures from uh, another project that's going to be coming out soon, soon from uh, uh, Mars Alpha. As I said before, I'm basically trying to put together a uh, a public, uh, a uh, open source NASA, doing open exploration of the universe. And that's a, it's a complicated job. So what's going to happen now is that in the next month or so, I'll be bringing in the next connection to the puzzle, and that's Mars Alpha. Mars Alpha is a uh, uh, research program into deep space, into uh, 
uh, living in space colonies. So uh, look for that uh, come up with, within the month or so. Uh, and otherwise, as we do things, as certain products move off, new products will come into the BTS vlogs uh, as they get connected. And as they get connected, once they are fully connected, they move off into Instagram, Insta, Insta vlogs. So basically, things first come into BTS vlogs. Once they're, in, in, once they're established and working properly, they move off Insta vlogs, and we go from there. Anyways, uh, hope everything will get back to normal soon. All right, take it easy. See you next segment. <laughs>
it's up and running, but uh, I'm waiting for the battery to recharge. And then once the battery re recharges, then um, we can uh, we can work on some more stuff with it. So that, that's the thing. I'm gonna wait for the battery to recharge. Once the battery is fully charged, then we can do the work that we need to get done on there, and that's primarily uh, making sure that uh, software is up to date. So I have to update the software, the, uh, the Kubuntu on it. It's all Linux. Then once Linux is up to date, I have to also make sure that uh, the, some of the software that I have on there, some of the apps on there, has to be have to be removed. Uh, this is particularly with uh, Muon and Apport. Uh, Muon and Apport are two uh, uh, bits of software on the uh, on the Kubuntu platform. I really don't like them. Uh, one of the things, one of the cool things about Linux is that you can mix and match. The ones I do like is I like uh, uh, Aptitude and Apt Get. You know, an app, sort of Apt. I like Aptitude and Apt from, uh, these are actually command line uh, options. So I like, when I'm doing some of my updating, some of my uh, upgrading, I prefer the command line. And one of the ones that I use to help me out that's on the, uh, that has a GUI, that has a Windows to it, uh, is uh, Synaptic. Synaptic is uh, my choice for uh, package management. So. As, to give you an idea, for those of you who don't know Linux, if you know Android and you know uh, iTunes, you know about the iTunes stores and you know about uh, the Google Play. Well, what happens, Google Play and, and, and the Apple, Apple uh, iTunes store is basically a Linux, a Linux thing known as a repository. It's, it's a basically, it's a, a whole well, a bunch of systems put together that... Uh, People put software into, and then you can pull the software, your, whatever software you want, out of it as, as apps onto your phone. This is something that, that, that's been around on Linux for a long time, it, and it's allowed uh, systems to go diskless. So that's why one of the reasons why your 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 your, uh, your your iPad, your phone, or anything that don't need disks. Well, that's because you can connect directly to the internet and download everything from the internet uh, onto your uh, tablet or phone. And this is how Linux works. Linux, there is no uh, applications. You don't go out and buy a disk or whatever. There's no, nothing to buy. It's everything that is down, downloaded off the internet. Instead of calling them an app store, you call it a repository. And a repository simply means a place you restore things. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been it's been a rough weekend. Uh, I'm having. A little bit of time, a little bit of rough time dealing with the twelve-hour work days. And these are twelve hours. This is not twelve hours of, of work. You know, this is twelve hours of studying. So, anyways, at least I'm uh, now vlogging at the end of the day. This is the end of our third segment. I still have one more segment to go, probably to later tonight uh, in the back room. Anyways, later. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, it's about 3.30 in the morning. We're starting later than we did yesterday, but uh, that's okay. <laughs> uh, we're not exactly on our times, but we're close enough. Uh, what was I going to say again? Uh, I was able to vlog yesterday. I did vlog at the end of the day, so uh, we had... Uh, vlog at the beginning of the day and a vlog at the end of the day so it, it, it's starting to come together there are still some problems I have to work out but uh, I think that's to be expected so let me give you the time and date stamp it is uh, three hours and 30 minutes into the day of Tuesday March 4th 2014 I've also resolved the vlog issue in terms of what vlog this is, <laughs> for a while there I couldn't remember what vlog it is. This is a vlog from March 1st to March 4th. And that's because of the way our days go. Is we're kind of on in between days uh, for our day. So, I'm giving you an example. This day starts at, it's starting at 
it will more than likely end at 3 34 o'clock when I go to bed again so it will still be the uh, it will still be March 4th when I do the uh, second vlog at the end of the day when I get up in the morning it's gonna be you know again another another approximate time you know in other words it's not a standard day we're not finishing eight o'clock in the evening nine o'clock in the evening uh, the way we did, you know, we were finishing earlier in the day, but we still have a 12-hour day, and that's kind of that's that's kind of the rough thing is when you're doing 12-hour days, particularly doing studying for 12 hours, it does get uh, uh, it does get tiring, it does get fatiguing, and uh, there are the resulting uh, physical uh, issues that uh, inevitably pop up when you push yourself to this level of uh, exhaustion. Uh, so where do we go from here? Where we go from here is, uh, uh, when I'm in these states and I have problems with vlogging, as I said before, that's because I'm bringing in new project, things aren't necessarily going as planned, but in the end, if you keep plugging away at it, things do resolve themselves, and that's what's happening now, as before, uh, over the weekend, I was in sort of a state of flux, where things were not settled, they were kind of all over the place. And this is kind of the it's kind of the feeling you have when you're going into grade three. We really didn't, you don't really know what's going on, and you're kind of feeling around for uh, some degree of stability. So that's where I am now, and but things are kind of straightening out, and it looks like I have my study schedule uh, schedule sort of falling into place. What it looks like to me is every other day I'll be doing two hours of vocal practices, two hours of vocal practice, and. Then on uh, on a daily basis, I'm studying my Greek now. I'm starting I'm starting to do more on my Greek than I did before. But on an every other day basis, so, so basically on uh, I think it's Monday. No, it's Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, something like that. Uh, I'll be doing the uh, vocals, which is primarily I do it with the chanting that, that's done in Greek, so I can practice my Greek at the same time. Uh, then on the other days, I do my reading. I'll read through the different the different uh, services and get my reading up up, up to speed, so I can do the reading. And again, right now I'm starting at a grade three level in terms of my reading. My reading is really pitiful, so. Uh, and then after that, once I do the reading and I'm comfortable with the reading, then it starts. I start on the vocabulary. So right now I'm in the reading stage. Vocabulary stage is coming next. I already have the translation stage down. My problem was never pro never translation. I could tra I could can do the translation because translation. You know, if you take three four months to study to study something, study a particular word or an origin of a word, and that's what happens when you're studying etymology or you're studying uh, semantics. You take three four months to study the stuff. Uh, that's not a problem when you're when when you're when, if if you if you're doing translation, uh, but if you have to speak and you have to and, and your ideas have to come in immediately, as you're speaking, well, that's where I have the disconnect. The disconnect is is is, is uh, well, I can do the translation. I can't do because you have your dictionary in front of you, and you can do all your research on there. You don't have that time, uh, that time, uh, sort of. Uh, Luxury that you have when you're speaking. Speaking has to be instantaneous. So that's where I have to make my, my, my mark now. And, you know, there's no problem starting over as a kid. There's no problem being, you know, a third grader. You know, everyone's, you, have, you always have to start someplace. And if you're afraid of sucking in the beginning, you know, not really doing well, then you're not going to progress through. Uh, in other words, failure shouldn't be an obstacle. The only time you really fail is when you quit. So for myself, is if I'm doing something, I'm going to continue doing it, uh, even if I fail at it, uh, even if I don't look professional at it, it doesn't matter how I look, it's a matter of getting it done, getting it out there, and then over a period of time, improving what I'm doing. And that, to be said, is that because I'm studying a section, this is a section of Christianity that is not known, it's not known to the average person, much of it is hidden in the world. Uh, even in the research library, it's very difficult to find this stuff. Uh, so, what I'll do is I'll present uh, my videos, my vlogs. I'm going to present this in the BTS vlogs. 
as such. And so remember how we had uh, Vlogmas? Well, we're going to do the same thing like Vlogmas, but we're going to do it in Greek. And uh, you'll see it in the title. The title for the Vlogmas, for this type of thing now, but it's for, for Passover. Right now we're going into the Passover. We're going into Lent. Uh, Passover uh, is, we know in Greek, it's called Pascha. Pascha is the, uh, what most Western people know as Easter. Uh, we start celebrating from now. We start, our, we, start with, with, we start with a fast. And the thing is, it, the fast is not necessarily a fast. It's still a feast. <laughs> because we, we're not morbid. We're not uh, uh, macabre in our, in our views of death. So it's still pretty much a, uh, a festival, even though the foods are different. And I'll be noting this as we go through our vlogs. Anyway, uh, our time is up. It is now time to move on to the next BTS vlog that's for the 4th uh, uh, and 5th. We'll see how much content we can actually get in here now. I will see you in a couple of hours. Alrighty, take it easy. Democratic Earth. Earth.